Hey! This is Karen and Lauren, here to talk about manners in public. And we live in New York City. Yes, we And do. it is just full of ratchet ass bitches. <laughs> oh my That's god. Respectful. And I know sometimes I lose my patience. I lose my patience every single day on the but street, then... in the subway, in school. Oh my god. But there are certain times where you can lose and there's some times where you're just out of line. Mm. Yes. As an example, if I'm sitting in a train car and I am sitting down and you bump me with your knee because you're holding 6,000 bags with your 6,000 babies on your arm, do not get mad at me when I give you a devil look, okay? Not my fault you had 6,000 babies. I'm not getting up and giving you my seat. That was so wrong. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so wrong. You should, by the fact they have 6,000 babies and 6,000 bags, you should not feel bad. Because clearly oh they're God. all, you don't know about manners yourself. And another thing, if you're old, I might give you my seat. Honestly, I, I really might. I'm not saying I will, but if we're on the I bus. I wouldn't shoot. Hey, if we're on the bus and you still have salt and pepper and you can stand up straight, you're not getting my seat. You need to be hunched over, white, no teeth, can't walk fragile old for me to give you my seat, okay? I'm young. I need my rest. I'm They're growing. old. They need their rest. They're about to die. Exactly. Why do they need to sit down? They've been here long enough. Oh my god! You're such a douche. I am not a douchebag. She I speak is the, the truth. perfect example of being honest, but also being an idiot. Okay. Yes, I said that. Okay. All right. All right. How, how, do you, how do you how do you handle the bus thing? All right. If I see you look like you're in your forties, maybe I will keep sitting. But if you like with a cane or a walker, and or you look like you just had a really bad day. I'll give up my seat. And that's only if I'm in the front. If I'm in the back, you had a whole another 30 people that could have gave up your seat. If I'm in the I back, agree with I get that. No, seat. honestly, I do agree with that. If I'm sitting in the back, I don't think that I should give you my seat. Because you is- walked all the way to the back. If you made it back here, really? you can stand. Like, if I'm in the back, clearly there's little signs on the bus that say, please give this seat to the elderly. If they did not give it to you, then too damn. Another thing with little kids on the bus... I cannot stand little kids on the bus. You are to sit down face front this way, not getting on your knees and looking out the window and slamming the window and then falling asleep on me. It is not my fault if I laugh at you when you fall because you're stupid. Or if I accidentally little shove. I have done that before. Parents, control your kids, please. Because your little animal is getting on my nerves and now my leg is sticky because they can't hold their peanut butter and jelly right. (laughs) That's not my fault. And if you let your kid sit down and you're standing up, why in the world would you do that? To control your kid, you sit down, have the kid on your lap. Do not give them all that power. I don't understand these kids that run up and down the aisles and up and down the aisles. I just want to fucking throw them out the window. I just... Wait, we're on video. Anyway, I don't like kids on buses, nor do I like kids on trains. And I really don't like kids in the streets. Actually, I don't really like kids. This is where you're gay. You don't want kids. (laughs) Okay. Another thing, with your kids in the supermarket, in the store... I was a kid myself. Well, you know, a little toddler, I'm still, you know, a teenager. But anyways, I love to run around and all that stuff. I got lost in JCPenney once. But that's the thing. I got lost. I irritated some lady. I'm getting irritated. Control your kid when they're running around, going crazy. That's how you lose them, first of all. Just control your kids, please. Control them. It's really annoying already. Mm-hmm. Okay, and chapter three, adults. You cannot be ratchet as fuck in the streets anymore. I'm tired of you. Stop stepping on my shoes. Stop moving through crowds and not saying excuse me. Stop like everything. We get, like, we get you're big, but you can still say excuse me. Do not sit on that bus on your phone and talk loud as fuck about how you didn't pay your rent, okay? That's not my problem. You are wearing brand new ass Jordans. You're sitting on a phone with a ratchet ass Metro PCS phone talking about how you didn't pay your rent. That's not my fault. Wait till you get off the bus to talk. Adding on to another thing, bumping people in public, time and time again, we will go to Times Square. At one time, I literally yelled at this lady for bumping, remember, right? 
for bumping me so hard that was so unnecessary. And she turned around and she was like, bitch? Yeah, I really And did. I was like, I, re- I really did. She pissed me off. Oh my god. If I bump somebody, if it's hard, because we're in Times Square, you're, you're bound to get bumped. But if you bump me hard, that's a, that's a different story. If I bump someone hard by accident, accident, I say sorry. It's called manners. You apologize. Nothing with manners. Holding the door, saying thank you. It's not a hard thing to this do. This is New York City. We is not soft, okay? Be respectful. It's funny how we're talking about manners. You have none. I have no manners, but it's okay. It's okay. I have manners. <laughs> okay. Yeah, holding the door. This one never says thank you. I Sometimes thank you like, your parents. That's my parents. You don't want to get kicked out, do you? No. Okay. But, yeah, holding the door. Just say thank you, all that. Now... With people that are so obsessed about their sneakers, their shoes, or whatever, in the train, in the bus, if they get stepped on, you need to relax, okay? Your foot does not have permanent ground on the ground. You need to cut that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, your feet is not precious, so relax. It is a foot. You could clean it later. Not a big deal. Um, it's just not the end of the world, okay? You need to realize that when... Someone accidentally and says sorry after accidentally steps on your sneakers that it really was an accident And there's no reason for you to get into my face Watch yourself. There are certain things you just shouldn't do out in public. Okay, this is what this video is about If somebody's coming out your face you then it's acceptable like we said some things are acceptable some things are not P.S. Bus drivers who want to stop the bus because there's too much crowding. I get you, but stop it Seriously, I want to get to school on time. Seriously. You're pissing me off Okay. Okay. And this concludes this video. Yeah, we just, we had to talk about it. We had to, we had to do it. So... See ya!